So uh, just how, from your perspective, as a, you know, if you didn't drive away on the practice squad, they need you this week, um, you know, how, take us through that process. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically the job description as a practice squad guy or, you know, a guy who's, you know, third or fourth at your position is you got to be ready at a moment's notice. Obviously, late in the year, injuries, um, COVID, what have you, that kind of stuff. And you got to be able to, to go in and, and fill in at a moment's notice. So, you know, we got guys all up and down this roster on the practice squad um, that have been doing that the past few weeks, have done that this week. And that's just how, that's how we operate is, you know, next man in. We don't flinch. Uh, you know, just take care of business. And, uh, you know, when did you know that it was a green light all the way? I know you've been getting ready uh, every week. Uh, for this week in particular? Yes, uh -huh, this week in particular. I mean, you know, obviously Hayden tested positive mm -hmm. on Wednesday. So, you know, you, you kind of know that there's a pretty good chance, uh, you know, going through the game plan, um, you know, just the amount of tight end set, you know, formation or personnel groupings we got, stuff like that. So, you know, you just got to prepare every week that way. But, you know, I kind of knew on, on Wednesday, you know, there's a good chance of it. And Coach touched on your Iowa history with Hawkinson and being a D in at one point there. Uh, you know, a lot of people probably want to hear about your transition to, to pro tight end now. Yeah, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I, I love playing the position. I've just been very fortunate that I've had people who've believed in me and my potential along the way because, you know, certainly when I started, uh, it didn't look great all the time. And, you know, just like any player, there's a lot of things that I got to improve on that I, you know, just keep learning every day. But fortunately for me, you know, throughout my, my young career so far, is I've had people who have believed in me. And, you know, that just gives you confidence to go out and say, you know, if they believe I can do it, then there's no reason I can't. I just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And that's what I hope to do. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, fortunately it was like 27 degrees today, you know, it'd be yeah. different if it was 81 or something. But yeah, that's, uh, you know, just, you know, part of the program here, you know, we talk about being the most conditioned football team and that's something that, you know, we work on, not just in the off season, but, you know, maintaining that throughout the season. So, you know, it's, you know, obviously not something I had done a lot since the preseason, you know, taking that many snaps, but you, know, you, you got to go in there and you got to take care of business for the team. Yeah, I mean, just, just more snaps. Um, you know, obviously, Kyle, he's such a threat, and there's stuff that we do with him um, that, you know, not a lot of tight ends do. So, you know, just trying to pick up the slack, the, the places I can, you know, the things that are in his repertoire that, you know, I can go in and, and take care of. You know, that was, you know, just my, my goal or, you know, my, my job pretty much, you know, for the team. How did the, the defense kind of account for Kyle not being out there? Did they change anything? Um, you know, I didn't really notice too much. Um, you know, we'll see when we look at the film, you know, if they change anything. But, you know, obviously Kyle's someone that people game plan for, so. Were you on the field for, were you on the field for Matt's touchdown that got Kyle back? Did, did you understand anything that happened in that sequence there? I mean, uh, what, are you, what are you referring to? The, the penalty or him, him kneeled or him sliding and not being downed? Or? Yeah, all, the whole thing, yeah, was it confusing on, on the field as it was as we tried Well, to yeah, I mean, being on the field, you don't really – yeah, I'm out there, you know, trying to run a route, get open. So I have even uh, less insight, I would say, than if I was standing on the sideline. Yeah. Um, so that's probably a question for the head coach or for Matt. Is he the last guy in the league you expect to get a Tommy call, Matt? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's probably a question for him.